Hello and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. It's back to school time for me, so I have a lot of new students. And a big question that they ask at the beginning of the semester is how do I prepare best for taking the FAA knowledge test? So today I want to talk through some options, look at some pros and cons, maybe get your feedback. I'd love to hear in the comments what you think and let's hit it. So you have a few study options when it comes to different FAA knowledge tests. Sometimes people call them the written exam. Thing is, they're not written, they're on a computer, but the name came over from when they were actually a written exam. Not the case anymore. You can study with the book, you can study with the ebook, or you could use different computer apps programs to study. Whatever you end up choosing, and I'm going to unpack these options for you today so you can make an informed choice for yourself, you are going to want to follow some kind of study strategy. What I highly recommend is breaking down the material in chunks. You know, if you're using like a, a book, it's going to probably be chapters. If you're using an online program, it might be in different subject areas. So you're going to break down that material and maybe even break it further down. Some of the books have like a header and you can study just that area. What I recommend, no matter what study method you use, paper, ebook, computer, app, is I recommend the first time through you read the question, if you're using the paper book or a screen, whatever, read the question, read the correct answer the first time that you go through the material. Law of primacy says whatever you read, whatever you see first, it should stick in your brain. At least that can help. So instead of guessing the correct answer, don't do that. The first time you're going to read the question, read the three choices for the answers, and then read the right answer. That helps put it in your brain. Then you finish that chunk of study material, go through again and try to remember the correct answer. After that, you're going to find some you don't get. You're like, mm, I can't remember that one. Okay, so you get it wrong. You can't remember. Mark the ones you don't get. Go back through and focus on those, the ones you did not get. The other thing that I want to point out when you're using a study software package or a book, especially, you're going to have a lot of questions in the book. Now, especially if you're doing a book like this, for the airline transport pilot, this is an old one, but if you're studying for dispatch or something like that, there are knowledge question codes. And like I just turned in this ATP old book to some that are for rotorcraft pilots. If you are getting your ATP from multi-engine, don't aircraft, don't study rotorcraft questions. Same for the instrument rating. Uh, break it down, figure out the code of the questions you want to study and study those questions only. So don't do extra work. Okay, let's talk about good things with paper. For me personally, I find it less distracting to have a paper book that I study from. Uh, depends on the test though, and there's pros and cons to this. The one thing I really like about these paper books, it does include in the back a complete copy of the FAA's figures for these questions. Now, when you go to the FAA knowledge test, you are going to be able to see these on the screen on the computer where you take the test, but they will also give you the option of having one of these paper books. So I like studying with a paper figure book. And so one advantage is I have it in my book. This is a very thick book because half the material is figures for the test. The other good advantage on some of these paper things is it might include a code for you to take some practice tests. The ASA program may provide you with an endorsement for tests where you need it. So example, instrument rating, you do need an instructor's endorsement. ASA can help you get that. But let's look at the downsides of paper. There's really only two publishers that I actually know of. That is ASA and the other is Glime. So we don't have a whole lot of options out there. Of course, because it's a paper book, it's harder to get updates. I mean, this book isn't frozen in time. It's, you can't just get extra new FAA questions or new information that they might add to the test. So that is a big downside of using paper. It can be a very large book, as I just showed you. And the, another downside I, I really feel like with the paper versus an ebook or online presentation, you have these types of charts. This one is straight from this 
figure book for the airline transport pilot or dispatcher and you can see in the back we have a lot of these figure type questions. I have some other videos breaking down what you're even doing with this type of chart and how to solve it. Check those videos out in the links but I personally find it much easier to use a paper book when I am doing this type of question versus a screen because I like to use this little transparency tool to draw my lines on the chart without actually drawing on the figure material. If you see this is a little transparency, I will put a link to where you can download this file and make your own transparency. It's going to be linked to my website at the Aviation Vault, so you can download this. You can get to yourself some transparency film, Amazon, Office Supply, whatever, print these out. You are allowed to bring these into a knowledge test and I highly recommend you do it. Here, let's let you see a little easier what it is. It's basically a little crosshairs. Again, I've got another video um, for ATP and dispatch study. You can check that out. I personally find it much easier to do these in a paper format. So that's my recommendation why I kind of like paper sometimes. Let's briefly check out ebooks. So an ebook, you can get an uh, ebook of this exact book, okay? It is going to possibly be harder to find and view the figures, possibly harder to mark the questions, depending on what reader you're using. Updates, again, it's probably frozen in time, like the paper book, but it may also include a knowledge test, practice code, or an endorsement mechanism. The big advantage is it's more portable than my big old paper book. Okay, let's talk about computers, apps, and various programs. Here are my best top things about them. They are very portable. Okay, take it anywhere pretty easily. The question bank updating is where this really stands out. So, especially Shepherd Air. Shepherd Air, I'm gonna talk about in a second. I'm not being paid to say this about Shepherd Air, but I will say I did my dispatcher knowledge test, not with Shepherd Air, did my ATP test with Shepherd Air. Shepherd Air had the best database. I got my best score when I studied with Shepherd Air because they can update their question database very frequently. So any of the apps, however, they don't all have the same good test question bank. I also found through my experience and through many students I've seen take these tests, especially Dispatcher and ATP, the Shepherd Air Knowledge Test bank of questions is the most up-to-date, hands down. And why study old questions that you don't need to study? Okay, the other, some other advantages of this is it's, it's a lot like the FAA Knowledge Test environment. You are using a computer to study on a screen. There are a lot of vendors you can pick from. Like I just said, they're not all equal. I recommend Shepherd Air, it really stands out above the rest and they even can provide you a score guarantee if you're going for your ATP test. They actually have a minimum score guarantee if you do a certain, do, do a certain score on the practice test. So you can check them out. The weird part is you do have to telephone them to subscribe. I don't know why, but um, that's Shepherd Air and why I recommend them for ADX, ATP, and instrument rating for sure. Some bad downsides of this, it can be distracting. I personally sometimes find it hard to focus when looking at a screen. The screen can get fatiguing on your eyes. Okay, um, the figures are not on paper. You're gonna have to look at the screen. It doesn't work as well when you're using your little transparency thing in my experience. However, I say, you know, you can overcome this because you can go online and you can buy this figure book. This is ATP and dispatch, this is instrument rating. You can go online and buy these from a publishing company. It's not impossible to find them. And that way, that's what I did for ATP. I studied with Shepard Air, but I had my little paper book I carried around with my transparency tool so that I could get better view of the figure book and the figure questions. These are usually subscription based, so there may be an ongoing cost or like a time limit of how long you have to access the material. So that's possibly a downside. I would love to know what you think. So put it in the comments. Tell me what you think. What did you use to study? What worked? What didn't work? What did you like about certain program? What do you recommend? What do you not recommend? So I would love to hear from you. Check out my other knowledge test prep videos, especially about ATP and aircraft dispatch. 
and I hope you have a fantastic day.